Come on, Vicky. Woo! Oh, oh, oh! Hey, what oh, up? Shoot. <laughs> the paparazzi found me, dude. Ready to go? Yeah, I'm ready, dude. We should Trying get some food, though. Yeah, I'm fucking starving. I haven't eaten yet today. We're actually here an hour early for one. Yeah, all right. We didn't have to like run with no shoes on. Yeah, <laughs> like last shoes. time. How are we the first ones on the plane? VIP, bro. We're usually the last ones. I know. Barely making it. VIP, man. We came prepared today. <laughs> What's up? What up? What up? Open the back. Open it. It's unlocked. You might oh, my slicks are back there. Oops. What's up, brother? What's up, man? That was a flight. We're good. good. We got some free drinks. Uh oh. Dude, Dude, apparently, someone paid for our drinks. Because you know me, but yeah, someone paid yeah. for our drinks, and we got a couple rounds of free drinks. It was awesome. That's awesome. You offer the flight attendant uh, a tip, and they, legally they can't take it. So what you do is you just Freaking always don't tell them all the secrets, yeah, bro. Like <laughs> Jeez, I'm sorry, I can't take it. They'll give it back to you, and every time they walk by, they're gonna slide you some drinks. <laughs> every time, never fails. Jesus, you guys, you guys didn't hear that. Some yeah, flight tips with it. Ricky. Yeah, that's flight flight trips 101. Dang, got the whole front end repainted. Dang, yeah. Mm, he's never looked so good. That's a random shit, dude. Yeah, Where's the I exhaust have... now? Oh, it's at the bottom. It's just right out. Oh, actually, it was always like that. That's an old, like that. Yeah, that's an old hole. Yeah. I remember now. That was a desperate yeah. thing. It's a mess in here. But yeah, and I had to buy these. Someone was selling them. Some beach cruisers, you know? <laughs> I don't know. It's still brand new, like, never used. <laughs> I haven't even brought I've used them around here. That's it. They're beach cruisers. I haven't went past the block. You always have the most random shit. Oh yeah. Dang, those lower control arms though. Yeah, right. I had, to, I had to take off the rear sway bar. Yeah. Oh, you got the rear suspension on there too? Yeah. Which was a lot better. Look. Carbon fiber trunk? Oh shoot. <laughs> She's so clean now. Can't get over it. I know. She looks a lot better. Dude, bro. she feels so good too. Did you hear the pull? Nah. He let third gear fine. eat. Yeah. <laughs> it feels good. so good, yeah. She felt so good. good. Yeah? So she had to get that one out, Rick. She spoke to me. Yeah, it looks good. It's all one color now. It looks so good. Yeah, it doesn't have the mismatching fenders. When we first got it. It was clean, super clean. Too much boost, but we got a zip tie on there now, so. Zip tie. Zip 
Yeah. Fourth year started to break up. It definitely popped off right there. Oh yeah. She was eating and then it popped off. But now? Now she's really gonna eat. She's gonna eat again. It's been too long. She's probably take, happy. Take two. Tell me, Larry. You knew we were coming. Oh, oh yep, he knows. See? He knows. <laughs> see, he's happy, yeah. man. So What's excited. up, Larry? Bro, he came to see us. He's so excited right now. We, he was just here waiting for us. Damn. Well, we got on a our journey. We got Larry to hang out for the weekend. He's gonna be on a journey this oh, weekend. Yeah. He's chilling, dude. Look at him. Oh, he's so excited, I can barely hold him. I know, right? He's just he's trying to bite you. He's trying to give you kisses. Oh man, good old Larry. Well guys, we made it to Florida. Just been hanging out tonight. Did some rips in the blue hatch. Oh my God, dude, that was yeah. crazy. He had fourth gear buried. Oh, I'm buried fourth, yeah. We were moving out. Dude, I miss this thing. It's been a while, I needed to feel that. Definitely made up for the three months of, of it sitting. sleeping, yeah. Dude, that. That, was, that was a fun night, even though we didn't do much, it was so fun. <clears throat> that was definitely a fun night. That was sick. So yeah, we're gonna go to bed, and uh, tomorrow we're gonna try to pick up VTech Vicky, hopefully, yeah, we're get her up and going, time. and that's the plan. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. There she is. There she is. Vicky. There's Vicky, man. It's been so long. I'm excited. Bro, it's been so long. It's different than when I remember. Vicky. I forgot how many signatures were on here. Dude. <laughs> She's been neglected. Yeah. So good to finally see her again. I'm so excited right now. Dang, you got the timing belt back on already. Oh damn, we got the actual tensioners back where they were supposed to be. Damn. If you guys remember, we had all the weird tensioners that we just built to make it across the track. Yeah, because when we were on the way to the track, for you, those of you who saw the video, the uh, timing belt tensioner snapped and lost the belt, messed up the motor. But it looks like she's all back and ready to go. Hell yeah. So yeah, Vicky's just been sitting in a field for the last however many months. So got her picked up from where she was sitting. She was exposed to the elements. She was getting rained on a lot. A lot of this stuff is rusted up quite a bit. We got some pictures before we came over so we knew a little bit about the condition of it and uh yeah so we have some work to do before we get her back up and running right now we don't have the Han data yet uh ricky's working on that for us so hopefully he'll have that uh over here later we'll see if we can get her fired back up but we still need to do some other things we need to go through the oil get an oil change um get the valve cover back on we'll show some other things here in a sec but she's back guys we just got to get her up and going bring her back from the dead what's up mike good to see you man Thanks for taking care of Vicky for us. No so Mike went and picked her up from where she was sitting and uh, got her all fixed up. He got some video of what they were doing to her. Got the timing tensioner all fixed up. So I'll play uh, the clips he got from his iPhone. He did a really good job of explaining uh, how they fixed her up. So really appreciate it, man. No problem. Can't wait to get her up and going again.
All right, guys, so back again. We had, had an issue drilling through the bolt and the extractor that broke. So during the process of grinding everything, the hole got too big for a Healy coil. So we decided to go ahead and go with an aluminum nut that we're gonna weld in the hole. That way we have threads just like a Healy coil. We got Chris with Juca Fab doing it. Chris. Woo. And uh, we'll update you again here as we make progress. We got the nut welded in there. And then we'll clean it all up, make it flush. And then we should be good to go. All right guys, we got it re-threaded. Or got the nut welded in there. Tension are gonna go on here. Everything's lined up perfect. Got a run for our tension. We'll be good to go. Now we just get Every the day, timing set up, get the timing belt back on, and should be ready to fire up. Mike has his own shop over here in Tampa called MTM Automotive. Hooked it up, so we're giving him a shout out. Gonna rock a couple stickers on Vicky from now on because without him, she would not be almost ready to run. Mike the mechanic. Mike the man. <laughs> it does stand for Mike the mechanic, Mike, right? Mike the mechanic. monster. So since Vicky has been sitting outside for so long, as you guys just saw, uh, there was a whole bunch of water in the motor and the tops of the cams were completely rusted as well. He also went through and kind of cleaned those up with a wire brush, trying to uh, get as much rust out of there as we can. Uh, we need to completely go through this motor as best as we can at least. Uh, we're gonna drain all the oil, obviously. I'm sure there's water in the oil and then um, we need to go and put new spark plugs in it and give it fresh oil change. Once we get the Honda data and everything else buttoned up, uh, we're gonna try to start it and hopefully all is good and she fires right up and we'll be on our way. But if there's any issues, we are gonna try to fix her tonight because we're gonna try to bring her over to the event that we're going to, which is tonight. So we have like four or five hours to get it up and going, but I think she should be all right. The timing belt looks pretty legit and once we get some oil in there, and Ricky comes over with the Honda out of, I think she'll be ready to rock. Bring her back to life. I don't think we're gonna, you think we're gonna race it tonight or we're just gonna drive it out there? I don't know yet. I mean, if she feels good. Yeah. Oh yeah, also another thing is since we don't have uh, Brent with us and his laptop, we also don't have the tune that he originally saved for this thing. So we might have to do a little, yeah, might have to do a little bit of a retune on her. I just can't stop looking at her though. I missed her so much. Yeah, we even, the skull bottle opener. I need some root beers, dude. <laughs> Got a new oil filter for her. Man, that up pipe is rusty. Collector's all rusty. Even the bolts to the oil feed right there. Look at that. She got a lot of water on her. So we're gonna go ahead and get her lifted up, drain the old oil out. Hopefully it's not too bad. And then we also need to get the crank pulley back on, the alternator back on, and this motor mount right here because uh, when we redid the timing belt at the track last time we were with Vicky, uh, we took that motor mount off and we used one of the bolt holes from the motor mounts and we were using a bolt in there to tension the belt. So we need to get that motor mount back on since we don't need that anymore since the timing belt's fixed. And yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and get her up in there. What's up? Let's take this out, bro. I think Aiden came over here and signed this stuff. Aiden? Yeah. It had to have been him, bro. All them different jokes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. Damn. Dude, she had a lot of water. Ugh. What was that? Like chunks of stuff in there. You can see it. Look at the stream. Dude, that's pretty bad. How did it get so much water in there? That's crazy. Dude, that's a lot of water. That is. See how much Man. it fills this thing up. How I mean, much? it's still pretty oily. I'm just hoping that... <laughs> Look uh, at those little chunks coming yeah, out. I'm just hoping that like the bearings aren't like rusted in there somehow, you know? Yeah. That would suck. But, I mean, we're just gonna have to run her and pray for the best. <laughs> I and mean, I think we'll know right away if she's messed up. We'll just let it fully warm up and idle for a while. Yeah. It is, and it's not like filling up this thing too. Yeah, it's not like a I'd be worried if it was water. like yeah, over. it's like a normal amount. Yeah, she's been sitting. Yeah, but I really hope she's all right. It's there's a lot of water and rust in there. 
Now we're just gonna have to fill her up with uh, some WD. See if she'll run off of that. <laughs> How they're doing those videos and shit. Mike did turn it over as well. He said it was kind of hard to get it to turn over, but then it started to turn. So we're hoping she's all right inside of there. Just gotta get this mount on, and then the T bracket. Yeah, they had to take all these mounts off so they could lower this side of the motor down so they could work on it when they were welding that new nut in there for the tensioner. So this guy works on everything, dude. So rusty. We're gonna have to burn all that off. <laughs> Torch it. Just gotta get it everywhere. So we got all the mounts on except for this one, which we're still waiting on Ricky to bring over because that's over at his house. Got the alternator back on, got the belt on, crank pulleys on. Uh, just put oil in it. We just try to lube up the cams as much as we could. Hopefully. The rings and bearings inside are in too bad a shape. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and try to turn it over right now. It's not gonna start, we don't have the computer yet either. So just gonna turn it over and make sure it sounds all right, make sure it spins okay. And then once we get a computer and that other mount, I think we'll be able to try to fire it up. Yeah, we're gonna have, we're gonna probably wanna get a bolt for yeah. that. I don't know where that went. Well, I think we used it for like one of the more important ones. We're kind of in a rush. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty thrown. Not really in a rush, but we didn't have much to work with at the track. We made it work with what we had though. Oh, for sure, dude. And yeah, look at that, it's starting to take the rust right off. Look at that. Like nothing. Oh, brand new, dude. Like, look at her out. Oh, they're cleaning up nice. <laughs> Just need a paper towel. <laughs> Bro, as good as Look new, that. Dude. Honestly, we should probably run it and then do one quick oil change because I feel like it's gonna fill the oil with, with yeah, rust. a lot of rust. Yeah. Yeah, there's, the oil's gonna turn brown really fast. <laughs> <laughs> Look, they clean right up. Giving those plugs a gap. Yeah. Taking them to Gapplebee's. Wrong hole, dude. Got to break her free. I mean, she's already broke free, but we're getting ready to go get some food. So while we're gone, um, just gonna pour some oil in the cylinders. We're gonna turn it over real quick and hopefully just lube up the rings and stuff in case there's any uh, surface rust that built up in there and hopefully that'll clean that right up. That's my theory, at least. I saw how good it worked just right there on the cams, right? When some oil touched them, just kind of cleaned it right off. So we're gonna do that, let it sit while we're gone. And then once we get that on data, We'll come back and hope she fires up. Bro, he's just been chilling in Florida the whole time. Catching them tans, We're ready to dude. go now. We got VTEC Vicky, got our boy Larry. <laughs> be a good weekend. <laughs> so we just went and got some food. Uh, Ricky came over and he brought us the Honda that his friend is letting us borrow to uh, run VTech Vicky for the weekend. I need to stop calling her VTech Vicky actually because she's technically non VTech Vicky right now because she has the non VTech head. So she's just Vicky for right now. But if I keep saying VTech Vicky, it's just because it's really catchy and I like the name. Yeah, she's just, she's Miss Vicky for right now. So we're gonna be using this Honda. We're getting ready to plug that in. And right now we're also going to put the valve cover on. We got some new spark plugs thrown in there as well. Have those pre-gapped. Also just got this motor mount on. That was over at Ricky's house in a box of parts uh, that we had from this car. But uh, yeah, she's about ready to go. So once we get the valve cover on and the Honda plugged in, we just have to load a quick tune onto the Honda, just plug in the injectors and stuff like that. And hopefully she fires right up. <laughs> Watch the top now. Damn, when was the oil cap broke? Did you win? That's just weight reduction, dude. She's a dirty girl. 
to need to find She's been around. You can tell, all tied it up. She's Mike, been out with uh, Mike and the boys. Vicky just had herself a midlife crisis. <laughs> We're giving her the guidance. She hit rock bottom. She needs. <laughs> Resuscitated. <laughs> Yeah. You got the tunes oh, somewhere? Oh, wait. Uh, again, this probably doesn't have a boost by you in it, though. Okay. I guess you'll know when you hook it up, huh? To the computer? No, I mean, you see if the little thing is welded into the board. Yeah, oh, I, I, mean, I won't look at it now. It's not. It's my worries for the computer. Come on, turn it you over. You got a computer or what? What? Need my computer? You got everything? Yeah. You always come prepared, dude. You live with that computer. What you got in there, bro? The goodies? There you go, bud. This is our Florida Brent. This is the Florida Brent. He grew out his beard. Where'd you find him at, dude? Yeah, he was in the trash. Someone thought it was just a water bottle. It's his cage for right now. Hey, Sorry, Larry. Larry. Sorry you had to go through that. I want to go to the pet store and get him like a little, uh, little tank, get some crickets for him. Hell so he can yeah. just chill with us at the track. He can have his own little, his own little spot. <laughs> have some grub to eat. All right, well I think she's ready. Has the Honda. Has oil. Has motor mounts. I'm nervous. I hope she's all right. <laughs> Getting ready to crank it right now. Moment of truth. Just trying to think, making sure we're not forgetting anything. I think it's ready to go. Bro, just let her rip. See what happens. Turn her over. Come on, Vicky. You can do it, Vicky. Oh, come on, Vicky. Woo! Oh, oh, oh! Hold on! You see all those what the fuck? Those are a bunch of bottle caps in there. Hey. Damn, she's alive, bro. Hey. Vicky's alive. Do a little puff of smoke. That's just all the oil in the cylinder. Damn. Sounds pretty good. <laughs> hey, put your fan on again. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on, baby. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, she got the pressure back. Come on. Some of the bottle caps that I picked up from the ground came out of there. You're alive. Oh my god. How do you feel, bro? It's been a Look minute. I know, dude. She's a Thomas the Choo Choo train right now, though. She's no V Vicky right now. But she's alive. Yeah, that's the really good. most it's important. Hard to smoke. It sounds really good. Well, good thing the smoke doesn't make any noise. Yeah. <laughs> doesn't affect the sound at all. <laughs> <laughs> She's running guys. We've been letting her idle for a good like 10 minutes now. We got some coolant in there and the smoke pretty much cleared all the way up. Pretty sure that was just from all the oil we poured in the cylinders. We did pour quite a bit in there. We're going to try to take her around the block real quick. We're mobbing four deep with no back seats. <laughs> Bro, it's and it's not like hot out here 110 at degrees yeah, out here. It's not hot in Colorado, all, boys. I'll tell you that much. It's out here you purge. That's how he says it. You just purge out your out your pores, dude. Toxin, man. Every That's hole, something's coming out. <laughs> is that sunroof open? Please tell me. Yeah, it does. Who do you think it's like, is? I knew you were gonna come out with something <laughs> slick. <laughs> does the sunroof oh, open, bro? This is luxury, Ooh, God. God. Yo, she's 192. I think you're pretty good. Hey, you want to roll that window down, bro? Yeah, it's freaking. Appreciate that, man. 
Don't touch mine. Still got power windows. Ooh, yeah. Send it off of a speed bump. That was kind of clean, actually. Yeah, it did. It was I was dry. watching. It was like 10 four or something. It went to nines at one point, but. Oh! It's hard to spin the tires. She made some moves. She still has it. Nine psi. Nice. It was at. What was that like 10? I saw it go. I, yeah, I saw it go into nine. I saw it hit nines too. All right, so we just went and drove Vicky around the block and she felt really good. She's running great, but unfortunately when we got back, um, we were trying to add some more coolant in case uh, some bled off after we drove it because we didn't really bleed it at all. And when we took the cap off, there was a lot of pressure in the system. And when you have the car just idling, the coolant is just gushing out like crazy. So she definitely has a bad head gasket, but this is the head gasket that came original with this motor. Um, the only reason we use this one is because we had to use this when we swapped the head uh, last time we had the car because that's the only head gasket we had. So it is a factory OEM head gasket. Not really super surprised that that blew out. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to change it out tomorrow. And tonight we're going to go to the track and watch uh, Ricky's car run. That's what we're mainly out here for. And then we can focus on this thing tomorrow. We don't want to try to send it out there and break down on the way if our radiator explodes. So... We're going to work on this tomorrow, and for right now, we're just going to head over and root for Ricky. Maybe he can get the hatch into the nines. I'm going to try to run a nine a day. We'll see. See how she does. But at least Vicky is alive either way. So, uh, yeah. pretty excited. <laughs> 